Hey everyone, the misinformation board or disinformation board has been suspended. Remember that board, the organization put together by President Biden to stamp out misinformation? It could be going away. Go ahead, subscribe to this channel, follow me, I'll bring you the news without any bias, without any narrative. So let's take a look right here. This is a headline in the Washington Post. And, well, their headline, take a look at this, how the Biden administration let right-wing attacks derail its disinformation efforts. That's a headline from the Washington Post. Some would say that is a biased headline, but that's what they have in the New York, or I'm sorry, the Washington Post. And the Washington Post is saying that this board has been suspended or disabled. They're also saying that the woman running the board, 33-year-old um, Nina Jankowitz, she offered to resign, but it's not known right now if she did resign or not. But one thing that is happening is that they are blaming, um, in many instances, the, the right wing, the GOP, for their attacks on the misinformation board. They're saying um, Nina Jankowitz's life was put into jeopardy. She was threatened by several right wing, as they're calling, conspiracy theorists. But a lot of people had issues with this because of you know, saying misinformation. According to the freedom of speech, you're allowed to say what you want as long as it is not a crime. That's that's a big deal. Um, but the misinformation board was seeking out misinformation. But there's also a question, well, what the White House was saying, Jen Psaki said that the misinformation board was really put in place to um, crack down on what she said was misinformation coming to the southern border or to migrants or to people about that. And she said it was affecting Homeland Security. That was according to Jen Psaki. But I want to know what you think. What was the real reason why this disinformation or misinformation board has now been suspended? I want to know what you think. I'm not giving my opinion. I'm just giving you what happened the minute it happens. And that's why you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to me on Rumble, whatever it may be. Thank you everyone for watching this just in.